Now trout fishing can pose a lot of questions. You know, where are those fish at and what are they gonna be biting on? And in the winter time, to catch them, you've gotta go deep. Trout fishing is all about finesse and working those baits in just the right spot to trigger a bite. In the winter time, this becomes even more emphasized when trout's eating habits and positioning in the water column changes. That's why sinking baits are perfect for this time of year when you need to get down deep to catch them. This is the Rebel TD47 Ghost Minnow. It's a slender two and a half inches long and traditionally has been a popular option among trout anglers. My favorite part about this bait is it's got a slow sinking action that drives these wintertime trout absolutely crazy. Now it's important when you're throwing a sinking bait like this in current to make sure you cast upstream from where your target zone is. And it'll let that bait drift with the current. And when it's drifting, that bait's gonna be sinking down to the bottom. So by the time you get to your target zone where you wanna catch those trout at, your bait's gonna be at the bottom, which is exactly where we want it. Gosh, these fish are so pretty. Man, he was set up in the current exactly where he should have been. Good little fish. We'll get him back in the water and go catch some more. There's one. Oh, another one. Little guy. Whew. Oh no, come here. And if you find yourself fishing some deeper water as opposed to a shallow run, you'll have to let your bait sink down a little bit further, almost to the point where you can't even see that bait down there. And even though you can't see it, as long as it's down by the bottom, I guarantee you those trout are getting a good look at it. Nice fish. The nice part about having sinking baits is you can still work them shallow just by changing your rod tip position just like this. Just keep your rod tip held up high like that and that'll keep that bait high in the water column. Man, and with these barbless hooks, you gotta keep in mind, the best thing you can do when you've hooked a fish like that is get your rod tip up in the air immediately and reel up all that slack. Just remember, keep that bait tight in that fish's mouth. Good fish. Oh no. Oh, that's a nice one. Hey, look at that. Boy, he was sitting right up there in that current. Good looking fish. Never try and work your bait against the current. That's gonna cause that bait to rise. And when you're throwing a sinking bait like this, that's not what you want. So after you've let that bait sit for a little bit and it's sunk to the bottom, 
just slowly, slowly, slowly work that bait along the bottom. If you reel too fast, that's gonna bring that bait up in the water column and those trout aren't gonna go after it nearly as much. Now what you're gonna want is either a medium light or an ultra light that's got a real fast tip on it. You're also gonna wanna throw it on light line, either four to six pound test, uh, preferably fluorocarbon because fluorocarbon actually sinks in the water over monofilament. So when you're throwing a sinking bait, that's gonna actually emphasize that even more. Now this TD47 Ghost Minnow comes in six different colors, but this is my favorite of all six of them. Black back and orange belly resembles kind of a smaller type minnow bait, but the orange belly really allows those trout to key in on it when it's floating in the current. Now this type of fishing is so much fun. I mean, anybody can come out here and do this. All you've got to remember is to just let that bait sit down in the water for a few seconds, keep it low and slow, and they'll drive those trout absolutely crazy. 